G'day and welcome to episode 6 of our series on the energy retrofit of this old cottage next to the Greeny flat. So as you can see we're making some progress. Uh, we've started to get some of the cladding on the walls, got the new windows in place, uh, completely replaced the roof of that little porch that you can see behind me, uh, insulated that, put a new ceiling underneath it, new roof on top, do around that. We also put a new access hatch in uh, underneath the house because the old one was uh, very tight and now we're in the process of uh, putting all the metal flashings up so top and bottom of the walls around the windows and sort of around all, the, all of the details uh, we put these metal flashings in place and then the, the cladding goes on over the top of that So here I'm installing some of the flashing that goes around the base of the wall. And when we get around to that front porch area that I mentioned in the introduction, you see that the flashing details get a, a fair bit trickier. We have to go around various obstacles and it uh, takes a fair bit of time to get everything just right. But the kind of corrugated metal cladding that we're using installs very quickly. Uh, most of the time it just goes into getting the flashings all in place. And the good thing about this uh, galvanized metal that we're using is that once the flashings are in place uh, and, and the cladding and it doesn't need to be painted and hopefully it will uh, last for a hundred years. So here are the flashings around the windows and these are these are custom made flashings uh, with different profiles for the top, the bottom and the sides of the windows. And you'll see those white strips there. Now those are uh, thermal brake strips. You can see George here installing them. They're, uh, they're kind of a self-adhesive peel and stick thing. They're made of foam and they uh, help to reduce the amount of heat that transfers through the studs in the, in the framework of the building. It also creates a bit of a space behind the cladding which allows that reflective sarking to help keep the building cool in summer. And here George is uh, just cutting a piece of the cladding and getting ready to install the cladding on the back wall of the house. We're using metal cladding because it's lightweight, it's affordable, it's quick to install and it'll last a long time with no, with no maintenance. And just to finish up for this week, uh, here is uh, some pictures from last week where we were having some fun cutting a hole in the side of the building for the new subfloor access hatch. So as always, thanks for watching and you can find more information about the project at greenyflat.com.au.